Hey guys, this is Nikhil again and now we are just gonna start our parallel programming Python course with multiprocessing. So multiprocessing is one of the two ways of achieving parallel processing or parallel programming or parallel computing or multitasking on your computer system. So what happens is that you have multiple processing units like CPU1, CPU2, you can call them CPU1, CPU2, right? So what happens is that you have got a problem, you divide, uh, you've got a big problem and then you have multiple parts in that problem. So you just give each part to each CPU and that CPU will run it at the same time and in this way you will be able to um, get the result in a very much shorter time right so what is multiprocessing let us take a look at the um, very basic but a good definition which is multiprocessing refers to the ability of a system so it is the ability of a system to support more than one processor at the same time so applications that you have or problem that you have in a multiprocessing system is broken into multiple smaller routines which are run independently. Each processor is responsible for running each smaller part of your problem. So why do we need multiprocessing? Let us take a look at this particular example to understand it in a much better way. So consider that there is a chef who is working in a kitchen alone. So he has to do a lot of works, right? He has to do baking, he has to do stirring, he has to do kneading, do doing, etc. So there are a lot of things that this um, chef has to do here. And you can compare it with a machine which has a single CPU, which has a single processing unit. A single processing unit is given a lot of tasks to execute um, at the same time. Then there will, be, there will be a lot of load on your CPU and it will have to do each thing one by one and it will take a lot of time. And the same case which goes with this frustrated chef, right? So the more, that, the more tasks you do at once, the more it gets difficult to keep a track of all of them and keeping the timings right, right? It becomes a challenge. So now what is the solution? The solution is that you can have multiprocessing or in simple words, let us go with the chef example. The chef got his some friends who are also, who also happen to be chefs. So now they shared the task between them. So now one is doing the, uh, Needing, one is kneading the dough, one is um, cutting or one is doing anything, right? So in this way, these chefs are now doing one task each and now they can complete their task in a much lesser time. Now you can compare this thing with having a computer system in which you have multiple processing units. Now, um, a multiple processing unit system can be of two types. You can say multiprocessor, which means a computer with more than one CPU. So it is possible that you have got multiple CPUs connected together to a single computer system that is a multiprocessor system. And then there is something called multi-core processor which we have in a lot of our laptops. So it is simply um, you have a single com computing component which is a single CPU but it has two or more independent actual processing units inside it which we call as cores so you must have heard of two core three core four core um, cpus right so that is what uh, we are referring here that is multi-core processor so if, if we have a system which is either multi-processor system or a multi-core processor system then we can say that we can achieve multi-processing which is having multiple processing units which can get the tasks and execute them simultaneously right and that is what is this chef group is doing here. So this is how um, we get an understanding of multiprocessing. And now we are gonna start with how to implement multiprocessing in Python, right? So we are gonna start with that now. 